Hello! Welcome to this month's uh, haul video. So for the things I got for the month of November. Um, I am not including what I got for Black Friday because that is counting as Christmas presents. So that, that will be a big video later because I get spoiled um so what this is mostly uh like what I picked up at the library recently um so I got uh this one called plagues and pleasures on the Sultan Sea it's a documentary about some town in California that kind of went the way of the dodo. I haven't actually watched it yet, but uh, this was withdrawn from the library, so it was free. Might as well. Um, this one's called um, Miss Hakusai. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, this movie was really good. Uh, it's based off a true story. The problem was, being an American, I didn't know that much about the real people, so I was just watching this going is that a real painting? And, um, so the, the real lady, um, in reality, her father is the artist who painted the Great Wave, you know, that iconic big wave. Um, I guess it's a, a bubble cut. Yeah, her father is the artist who created that. And then she was his, both his assistant and the artist in her own right. Did a lot of crazy things. This is a fictionalized version of her life, but yeah, I just didn't know that, like, we knew the specific artist who painted the Great Waves, so it was only, like, after I watched it, googling and being like, oh, that's the person we're talking about. But yeah, if you come across this, it, it was decent. But just research it a little bit so you can uh, appreciate some of these strengths, because, like, uh, it shows a couple of his paintings and a couple of her paintings, like, you know, a stylized cartoon one, and yeah, you won't recognize them without looking up their, uh, their IMDb, or not their IMDb, their, uh, like, Wikipedia page. But yeah, that was, uh, Miss Hakusai. Um, this one is called, uh, Wait for Your Laugh. Um, it's a documentary about uh, Rosemary. Um, if you ever watched the Dick Van Dyke show, she was the uh, one of the other comedy writers. She was it was his friend, you know, worked on the one show. Um, but yeah, she was really cool, so I thought I'd snag that. It does have, like, Dick Van Dyke and uh, Alan Arkin. Or not Alan Arkin, um... Um, um... Carl Reiner, derp, uh, Carl Reiner talking about her, so I haven't sat down to watch this yet, but yeah, Rosemary is pretty cool. I know she started as a child actress when she was like three, so, um, it'll be cool to see, like, in vaudeville and stuff, so that will be cool to see. Um, also got, uh, The Squid and the Whale, which has, uh, Jeff Daniels and Lori, Laura Linney. It's just, it's one of the independent movies that I never saw, but like I heard was good, so I figured I'd give it a whirl since, again, withdrawn, so free. Um, then we got uh, Vera Drake, which I think was like a made for PBS thing. I'm not sure, but, um, it's got uh, Imelda Staunton in it, and she's always such an amazing actress. Um, and then also got uh, this movie, The Meddler. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't even heard of this. I just got it basically for the cast, you know, Susan Sarandon and uh, J.K. Uh, Simmons? Simons? I'm not 100% sure. Um, you know, the guy who played uh, Juno's dad in the movie Juno. It's the voice of Omni-Man in Invincible and the Yellow M&M. 
Um, but yeah, so I snagged that. Um, and I got this obviously from for five bucks from Walmart. I uh, got the Ace Ventura collection. Um, I also got a couple of movie related books, so I thought I'd show you those just to pad out a little bit. Um, I got this, uh, this is the most, shall we say, tangentially related. Um, it's, uh, by Sarah Vowell. If you've seen, uh, The Incredibles, she's the voice of Violet. So, uh, yeah, she wrote this book, uh, The Assassination Vacation, um, where she went and visited <laughs> the sites, um, where presidents have been assassinated. I haven't read it yet, but I was like, this is geeky and random. It's my, my vibe. Um, and then I got, uh, The Phantom of the Opera, the translation, um, cause, yeah, I, I love the, uh, the old one with, uh, Claude Rains and obviously the silence, so I just wanted to know, like, what does the actual source material sound like? I haven't sat down to read it yet, but now I can. Um, and then I got, um, The Prince, The Showgirl, and Me. Uh, and it says six months on the set with Marilyn and Olivier. Um, but yeah. No, funnily enough, I don't have The Prince and the Showgirl. Now I have a book about its behind the scenes. Uh, and then I got, uh, this, uh, The Castle of Lear. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that. Um, this is, uh, like one of the books that inspired the Black Cauldron, so. I've got Princess Alonwi and Taryn off on adventures, so I figured that would be cool. Um, and then, last but not least, we got, uh, The Astaire's Fred and Adele. Um, because, yeah, before uh, Fred Astaire really became a movie star, uh, he had, like, a, a dancing routine that he would do with his sister. And then she married some guy and he was like, okay, I guess I'll go do Hollywood. I'm oversimplifying because I haven't read the book yet. Um, but yeah, that is what we got this month, not including Black Friday deals because those will be Christmas presents. Um, hope you enjoyed. Uh, my adding to my uh my hoard here as i do books as well as movies and i'll talk at you later